going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View. Hello and welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined us today. Remember when we're going through the program to call the prayer lines 307-637-PRAY. I have to pinch myself daily when those prayer lines, the testimonies and, and uh, the people that call, uh, it, it just blesses us so much. I mean, you just really don't know because that's what we're here for, to see life's changed. Mm -hmm. And we were just talking about before we started the show um, of some of the, the calls. And, and, you know, God says in his word to, you know, when, when they were crossing and when something would really, really happen where, wherever they were journeying, they would put rocks up as memorials, That's right. you know, and when we talk about things like this, it reminds me that I'm just doing a memorial and, and thanking God for, mm -hmm. for those calls and for what has been done in people's lives through God's View TV shows that he raised up for such a time as this. And I say all of that to say this, God celebrates birthdays. When God brought you into this earth. I happened to be born on August, in August, Leo the lion, Rawr! <laughs> and, and ah, Leo, and, and, and it's, I've always loved lions, I, you know, and I'm not, I'm not talking about like a horoscopes no, or no. signs or anything mm -hmm. like that. I'm just saying Because we don't believe in that. That, that represents in oh, August, bet. but August 18th, on, on, I won't tell you the year, ha, ha, ha. A nanny, nanny, poo, poo. Um, I'm not telling you how old I am. And so uh, August 18th, but on that day that God chose to bring me into this earth for such a time as this should be so celebrated. People don't celebrate birthdays, and they need to celebrate them because heaven, God the Father, brought you into the earth that day. He thought it was a pretty important day. Mm -hmm. and, and when he put you in that womb, he knew the day that you would be born. And so we celebrate birthdays. And so today we are also celebrating God's View uh, 16th birthday. And we are thankful to have Yay. it. Amen. Woo. Yeah. Woo. And we're going around the world with the gospel mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ. And lives are being changed. And we are doing a memorial today and thanking heaven for what he's That's done. That's right. He's a good God, and he wants to do something in your life today. Mm -hmm. So if you were just got your remote and clicking through the channel and go, oh, who are they? We're God's view. And I'll tell you, God's mm -hmm. glory is upon this show. Mm -hmm. And I don't say that lightly, and I'm not acting like we're somebody up in here. God is somebody, and That's the right. Holy That's Spirit right. is somebody. And he said that this show would be known for his glory, mm -hmm. and I don't take that lightly. So let his glory come. Don't change the channel. Let his glory come and change your life today, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that lightly. I'm telling you, I feel the presence of the mm -hmm. Holy Spirit right now, his power. He's going to rain down on you today. Amen. So don't don't change. Stay right there. He's got something for you, okay? I'm Charlene back to Mary, your God's View host. We have Stephanie Besh, Priscilla Pruitt, and Lana! <laughs> Lana! Yay! Lana's Yay. back with us again. Yeah. I mean, she was gone for a little while. Fight Dude, of faith. Yeah, fight of faith. <laughs> I know. And, we and, about that. And so, anyways, here we are all together again. Oh, so, so grateful for that. Yes, so and so best. we thank God for mm -hmm. Lana's total mm -hmm. healing and that she's back. And we're just, we give him all the glory. Amen. I mean, there's no one like God. Mm -hmm. If you don't know him today, wow, you, you, I'll tell you, you just stay tuned and watch. And you'll want him by the mm -hmm. time this show's over. That's right. Mm -hmm. So who wants to shoot? Go first. Well, we're talking about <laughs> our Lana. I love it. We're talking about spiritual warfare. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, a very good thing is to hang garlic around your neck. <laughs> <laughs> she don't mean that. Are you going, what? Oh she don't mean that. I'm like, no. here we go. No. Oh, what is so funny. funny. <laughs> She's it keeps jumpster. your friends away. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't keep the devil oh, yeah. away. Yeah. So yeah. if we uh -huh. read uh -huh. Ephesians 6 oh, and amen. Through 14, amen. Amen. we'll amen. find out how to keep the devil away. And amen. should we read, read it in yeah, the Bible? Yeah, yeah, read it. Okay. Well, I, I, I'm not going to read it. I'm going to condense okay. it because it's really long. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but the, uh, the Apostle oh, Paul is saying, finally, brother, be strong in the Lord. Don't ever say you're weak. 
The Bible mm. says, say you're strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Mm -hmm. So you're operating in his might. Put on the whole armor of God mm -hmm. so that you can stand against the devil's schemes. Struggle is not against flesh and blood. So, in other words, when that person is coming against you and saying something that you're weak, you're nothing, you'll never make it, then you, you realize that you're fighting not against that person, but against the horrible demon spirit that's in that person, mm -hmm. and it's tormenting them. That's right. Mm -hmm. And when we're walking right. with the Lord, with the whole armor, we can love that person no matter what they say mm -hmm. and pray for them and care for them. We're not hurt in any way. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the, the Bible says that what we're wrestling against is principalities and powers and rulers and authority, powers in the dark world, spiritual forces of evil in heavenly places. And we have power over every single one of them, praise God. And so God says, here's our armor. Um, you know, David, King David, when he was going to go fight Goliath, mm -hmm. King Saul wanted to give him armor, mm -hmm. physical armor, steel, the best that they had. Mm -hmm. But David didn't want it because David knew the Lord. Amen. And he knew that he had the whole armor of, of God. It was invisible, but it was mightier than anything on the face of this earth. And Paul also says through all this that after you've done everything you know to do, stand. stand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean to stand? It means that you don't give up. Mm -hmm. Ever. Amen. Because God's on your side. Mm -hmm. He always brings us to trial. That's right. And it says you put on the whole armor of God before you go to pray. Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Stand most of all on God's word. Amen. Yeah, on amen. his promises. Mm -hmm. That's why we have to be in his word yes. every day. I try to do it twice a day. <sighs> <laughs> but <laughs> and, and just when everything oh, seems yeah. like it's not going to work out, when you get that medical report and it's not changing, stand. That's right. Stand. That's Amen. Right. Yeah, yeah. And and mm -hmm. finances, uh, when they're not improving, you just. Speak with the word of God yeah. says, mm -hmm. That's right. I am a prosperous woman. Amen. I have wealth. And why do we have wealth? God wants us wealthy mm -hmm. so that we could be blessed to be a blessing, right. to, to, to give unto others. If your child's not making good de decisions, stand. And, you know, sometimes we shake our head and go, yes, and then as soon as the problem comes, our mind is filled with fear. And mm -hmm. then you say mm -hmm. no to that. No, right. my God mm -hmm. can deliver me in every way, shape, and form. Just report victory. That's right. <clears throat> you could be complaining, but know that God is on your side. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. You know, so when good. You, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. When you were talking, I was just thinking about how God said, and I'm going to read it in Isaiah 59, 17. This is what he did. So all the more we know we're, we're to put on mm -hmm. the armor of God mm -hmm. to stand, like Lana was just explaining. Mm -hmm. In Isaiah 59, 17, it says, For he, the Lord, put on righteousness like a coat of armor mm -hmm. and salvation like a helmet on his head. He put on garments of vengeance for clothing and covered himself with zeal and a great love for his people as a cloak that's what that means and mm, I think about good. we're talking about stand and stand mm -hmm. again um, stand firm stand means to have or maintain an upright position mm -hmm. so when we put on that armor of God we've got to stand upright knowing that God is our source and he's the one covering us he's the one that put on his armor and gave it to us and then supported by one's feet um, when we're when we're standing and we have the full armor of God on we actually have shoes of peace to share the gospel. So everywhere we go, even if there's a war, we're in peace because of our feet being um, girded by that. And then um, <coughs> situated in a particular place or position, it's an attitude toward a particular issue. So even putting on your armor, your attitude has to shift. Because just like King David going before Goliath, 
I'll tell you what, when it shifts like that and you get into position, it changes. And you know, I, I have physically felt God put the armor on me when I've asked or uh. when I say I'm putting it on and I, I wear it. Mm -hmm. I don't yes. take it off. Mm -hmm. um, it's an attitude toward a, uh, an issue, like I said, then a position taken in an argument. And so when the enemy comes in like a flood, mm -hmm. man, he comes in and raises a standard on our behalf. Mm -hmm. But wearing that armor changes the situation and then stand firm. Firm is having a solid, almost unyielding surface or a structure. So think about that, how firm that armor is and how firm we stand in the spirit and the Holy Spirit on the inside of us, which is the spirit of truth, causes us to be firm. Mm, that's right. And then um, it's, it's in a resolute and determined manner. And so even our man and mannerisms change when we have our armor on. And what I love is Paul wrote Ephesians 6. He wrote the Ephesians when he was in prison. Yeah. Right. So think about it. He's sitting there writing in a dark, damp, smelly place that he's been thrown in mm -hmm. unjustly because mm -hmm. he was spreading the word. Mm -hmm. Right. But the armor of God is upon him. The Holy Spirit is in him. God is speaking his, his word. God is speaking his word. And I can envision Paul writing this out saying, listen, this is the letter that I'm sending you. It says, therefore, put on the full armor of God because of what we face. Mm -hmm. So that when the day of evil comes, it refers to resisting and opposing the powers of darkness. You may be able to stand your ground. And after you've done um, everything, stand. And what I love is between verses 13 and 14, I'm going to read what that it refers to the believer not giving ground, not a single inch. But when it says stand, we go directly into verse 14. Stand again. So they're back to back. So when we have our armor on and we are back to back with the Lord of hosts and the captain of the army, nothing can come in. Nothing can come in because we are d directly um, touching and we are um, surrounded by that shield. Mm -hmm. And then it says, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist. And that's the truth of the cross, what Jesus did with the breastplate of righteousness in place. So the righteousness of Christ would come strictly by and through the cross. Mm -hmm. Amen. I Amen. love Amen. the that honor of God. And I love that God yeah. like designed this to where <clears throat> his children, like we are his children, to where we're not left in our situations alone. Like yeah. he made it to where not only do we have a yeah. weapon, his word, we have this huge mighty <clears throat> weapon that can, you know, cut through flesh and bone. It can, I mean, it could pierce through anything. Mm -hmm. It literally can. Mm -hmm. And we also have an armor. Like yeah. that's amazing. And it says that, in, um, it says that, um, that we are to put on the armor in Ephesians, right? But even though it's an invisible armor and we can't see it, um, that armor protects us. And so like you said, you mentioned David, King David. You mentioned, mentioned David as well. As well. <clears throat> even though that armor was invisible because, like you said, Saul tried to give him an armor. And he was like, no, this is not for me. It's too big. I can't function. It's not. He didn't want to give the glory to that armor. But God gave him an armor. His father had mm -hmm. an armor ready for him. And so God gave us this full armor to where we can combat whatever comes our way so that the day, like you said, the day when the day of evil comes, that you may be able to stand mm -hmm. your ground. And after you've done everything, you can still stand, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so that we can be strong in the Lord and his mighty power when we aren't. But it makes sense that the enemy is unseen, even though Goliath was seen, but our enemy is unseen. So, of course, our weapons are going to be unseen and they require faith. But it says in the word that without faith, it's impossible to please mm -hmm. God. So, of course, it's going to require faith. Mm -hmm. It takes faith to believe in this armor. It takes faith to put it on daily. It takes faith to operate in it. You know, you might feel silly saying, you know, I'm a lot of times when I'm praying and I'm, you know, talking to God, and I'm talking to the enemy. I'm pretending to swing a sword and I'm saying, you know, I'm cutting off the enemy's head mm -hmm. and yeah. I'm, I'm using my armor and it takes faith and you <coughs> might feel silly doing it. But that's what that's what brings joy to your father. It says in the word that it's without faith, it's impossible to please God. And so putting on that armor of faith, it pleases your heavenly father. Yeah. And therefore it moves him. Because mm -hmm. he's like, look, this child is moving in that faith. And so he's gonna yeah. be moved to work <laughs> right. for you on your behalf and fight on your behalf. And it says in Ephesians 16, 6, 13, that you need all the pieces, like Lana mm -hmm. and Stephanie were saying. In verse 13 it says, therefore put on every piece mm -hmm. of God's That's armor right. so that you will be able to resist the enemy in that time of evil. And so it lists all <coughs> six pieces, but in the end, 
there's a very important, very pivotal piece to this puzzle, and I know that we haven't spoken about this yet, but it says in verse I know 18, what it is. Mm -hmm. pray in the Spirit yeah. on all occasions yes. for all the and saints. And so many times for all the saints. Yes. For all the saints, but pray all in the, the Spirit saints. at for all people. times. Yes. Yes. And yes. so one of the things I love to do, like if I'm holding my baby, she's the cutest thing in the world, <laughs> I have to talk about her, but and she's feeling a little congested, I just start praying in the Spirit. Yeah. I start praying yeah. in the Spirit. I'm That's rocking right. her and yeah. I'm praying in the Spirit because not only does it boost my my immune system by what, yeah. what was it 30 percent something remember there was a study yeah. a, a secular study that yeah. re, that literally did this <coughs> study on speaking in tongues and how to boost your immune mm -hmm. system yeah. so i'm like i'm boosting her oh, immune yeah. system 40 yeah. 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 my baby's immune system i am praying in tongues if i'm in the car i am praying in tongues if i'm listening to something on the news and it just came up i am yeah. praying in tongues Amen. that right. is when i don't know what to do i'm fighting for israel i'm Amen. praying for tongues that's yeah. right i don't know how to pray yeah. and so to me that is one of the most mighty mightiest Amen. weapons Weapon. that the holy spirit and god that's gave right. us because the Holy Spirit knows how to pray. Yes. He knows exactly what's going on. He yeah. knows what's going on behind the curtain. That's right. So he knows what to pray for. So yeah. when I don't know what to do, I pray, pray in the, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. And that's so important that we pray in the Holy Spirit. Um, because it is, I believe, one of the mightiest weapons, like Sherman yes. likes to say, it is like a full circle. It is the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit praying to God Amen. and God praying for you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's, it's just, just full it's circle. Full. Right. It's yeah. beautiful. And it also says, be persistent. Don't give up. Mm -hmm. If the situation seems like it's not changing, that's right. If things <coughs> seems like they're getting worse instead mm -hmm. of better, that's when the breakthrough is about to Amen. come. Keep praying in tongues. Keep putting on that armor. Mm -hmm. Keep doing in yeah. faith. Because that is what moves God. Be that persistent woman who mm -hmm. wins at the judge's gate. Just say, No, I want my justice. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Justice. Amen. Right. Be persistent. We don't give up. Don't give up because the enemy's not going to give up. Yeah. He's not going to stop. Well, uh, standing you. is not, what, standing what. That's why he said persistent. stand. That's yeah. persistence. That's not giving up. Right. Yes. Yeah. But right. I want to just encourage you because yeah. if you are pulling that full, arm, full armor on, and if you're being persistent, you're yeah. praying in tongues, yeah. I know, I declare, and I decree for a fact that God is not only going to bring you out of this situation, He is also going to bring you victorious through yeah. this situation. Yeah. 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 Wow, right. you guys all had a lot to say. Yeah. Okay, yeah. now I'm going to say something. Yes. Oh, yes. no. No, oh. you said, she said, she said, <laughs> now it's my turn. My turn. No. <laughs> I'm like, I know you don't. Why do you do it? Don't you? Right. Don't you? Right. 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 There's so much I had to say because so I'm like, wait, they already said it. So, yeah. You try to like, yeah. this is hard. Well, and you know what? So it's a fun and subject. It, and it is okay because we, yeah. we were, you know, I know we all try to hurry, but everything was so important that they all said. And God just, the Holy Spirit, we let him flow. Again, nobody knows no what anybody is ever saying. No teleprompters. Uh, we send out the uh, topics and bam, you know, uh, we just come together and God always flows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and that's the way we roll. And, you know, I'm not saying that, Anybody else should do that could you know because when you say something everybody else thinks you're saying you should do it No, yeah. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying you know, uh, every one of them had so many good points, and I'm just sparking in here, you know, and I'm like, but the one thing is, is when Priscilla was just talking about persistence, and um, that's, that is standing. It is. Uh, mm -hmm. Obedience mm -hmm. is standing. That's right. See, yes. all of those things, surrendering to God is standing. Mm -hmm. All of that equals standing. That's right. And without obedience and without all, all those things, and the biggest thing that the Holy Spirit was prompting me to say is so many people stand and they're not seeing results because they're standing in Saul's armor. They are, you, yeah. you have to have your Ooh, identity in mm. Christ. Oh, yeah, you have good. to That's know right. who you are. I've told people over and over, you can't call the devil That's a potato head. You have down. to use the word of <laughs> mm -hmm. God, okay? <laughs> She's so funny. I'm gonna take notes. I I go, what we do from each other, you know? Uh -huh. yes, and, do. and really, you you cannot call them names or, 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 mm -hmm. or you have to be strong in the Lord That's and the right. power of his might. This is what the word is telling mm -hmm. you. When you're strong, you're strong in saying, God, I know who I am in you. Yeah. I yeah. know it's the blood of Jesus. I obey you. I surrender. And it doesn't matter mm -hmm. what the devil is doing because every day he comes to mm -hmm. steal, kill, and destroy and yeah. mock you. Yeah. Mock who yeah. you yeah. serve. Mock who you are. And when you fall prey to that, then that, mm -hmm. you, you, your stand falls a little. I think of little Ellie, you know, my goddaughter, uh, Priscilla. You know, when they're trying to stand and walk, yes. you know, and they fall. But so once cute. they stand, they stand. Yeah. 
yep. and they walk Brace and they, themselves. Yeah, and, and they, they have sass to their walk. Yes, <laughs> and, now, and now they know. They know I can walk. And that's the thing. You have to know in your knower. Know that you know that you know. Because mm -hmm. when God says, put on the full armor of God, the breastplate yeah. of righteousness, shield of faith, the helmet mm -hmm. of salvation, gird up your loins with truth, shod your feet with the preparation of peace, and take the sword of the Spirit, which Amen. is the Word of God. And then pray on all occasions in the Spirit for all yeah. the saints. Because God wants mm -hmm. people. It, the, the, the world, when you're standing, is just not about you. God is a global right. God. He's a yes. people God. Yep. He uh -huh. is a God that loves loves us corporately and That's we are to right. stand for each other when he says pray in the spirit on all occasions for all the saints for the love of God people are being martyred yes. all over yes. the world yes. I mean we sit here right now all just wonderful mm -hmm. but there's people beheaded yes. there's people yes. burned to the stake oh, there's Jesus. people all over mm -hmm. the world that we need to pray and mm -hmm. stand yes. stand yes. for you know we just again cannot try to wear someone else's yeah. armor it won't yeah. work when we come in our armor and our identity and who mm -hmm. God created right. us and we know the power of the blood of Jesus mm -hmm. I'll right. tell you what we throw a little flick of a like David threw a stone and you know these little pearls and here we throw that pearl and I'll tell you but it's the word it, that that pearl and it makes it a boulder and knocks down every demon in your way yep. because you're doing it with the way God called you to That's do. Right. We have so much nonsense right now in the body because the devil has made people feel so insecure that they don't measure up and they want to be like so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so. And, -so and, -so. and then we have uh, not a real stand. Do you understand what I'm saying? And in a real stance, and when you're really standing, you're standing in the power of God and his might. Yeah. As you have put on that full armor of God. I'm not saying you have to put it on it every day. I mean, I, I do it many times in the spirit. You know, I mean, what, like when I'm praying, like when, when um, um, Priscilla was talking about praying and, you know, she just put it on or she'll pray in mm -hmm. the you know, spirit. And, and I do that. But when you put on the armor and you stand in God, mm -hmm. all of that, you're standing again when you're obeying, yeah. when you're surrendering. That's right. When you're walking in unity, when you're mm -hmm. walking in faith, all of those things you could just put an equal S T A N D. Yeah, that's so good. It's it, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's so hard because we think, oh, we're putting this on. But when you put it on, the standing is what the thing is. Mm -hmm. You can put that armor on all you want, but if you're gonna go try to stand in Lana's anointing or, mm -hmm. or Priscilla's or you know, uh, Stephanie's or mine, it, it's not gonna work. Mm -hmm. You're going to get you're going, you, you are going to fall right down and yeah. you're going to get discouraged. Mm -hmm. That's right. You're going to say, "Oh my God, God didn't answer. God didn't do this. God didn't do that." No, no, God answers, mm -hmm. and God is powerful. He's Almighty. That's right. And He moves on the behalf of His children. He's always moving mountains and doing things and positioning to bring together what He mm -hmm. has for you. Right. You may not see it. What's that song? He's always working, always working. Uh -huh. What's that song? Uh, even he never even stops he, working. Yes. He never oh, stops working. Even though we can't worker. see it. Yeah, miracle yeah. worker. Mm -hmm. And he never stops working. Right. I'm telling you, mm -hmm. when it looks the worst That's right. and you mm -hmm. are standing, yeah. guess what? Heaven is backing you up. Amen. Yeah. Yes. Right. Remember right. during the pandemic. Oh, excuse me. No, go ahead. Okay. The, the pandemic. Mm -hmm. What a difference to see believers who were in the no, pandemic no, no, no. Yes. and yes. unbelievers yes. who were in the pandemic. <laughs> Big difference. Because or even, or the believers, yeah. they were immovable. They were unstoppable. Some. They were unafraid. Some. They knew that their God was That's going right. to deliver them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They didn't know how, but they knew yeah. in Jesus' name. But the and believers that were walking in faith, because there were some believers, yeah, yeah. believers right. that right. were fearful. True. That were true. Very the fearful. ones that had their armor on. Yeah. 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 That's for sure. You know, we have, we sh as believers should be that's so bold mm -hmm. to say the truth, to say what God says, that's right. to say homosexuality is a sin. It is. That adultery. If you're in adultery, you mm -hmm. lose all of your finances. That's what the Bible says. It, it, it says that innocent murder, lying, cheating, stealing. Whatever We're it is, you're not going kingdom. to heaven. Yeah. You need right. Jesus. Jesus is the only power on the face of this earth that could combat every demon force. Mm -hmm. That's right. It is so liberating to know him, to walk with him. And if you don't believe us, 
believe God. Just say it. Just say, come into my heart and be my Lord and see if something doesn't happen because he's alive and he'll never let you down. The battle is the Lord's mm -hmm. yes. and the victory is ours. So when it comes to our marriage, to our children, our spouse, our mm -hmm. finances, our health, yes. if you fight with that armor mm -hmm. by, by praying and believing and trusting and the faster you do, because a lot of times we do get weak, we do waver, Not we get double-minded. <laughs> <laughs> I and, wish you would talk about the, the battle you had, too. Well, I just got to heal the fourth stage cancer. That's yeah. right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> because, yes. you know, the devil waited till I got in the fourth stage thinking I'm going to, oh, geez. Give uh, up. Yeah, yeah, you didn't find out until you were no in the way. stage four. I mean, 1% yeah. wow. chance. One percent. Wow. Yeah. One percent chance. And she is here and yeah. healed. And yes. strong. And strong. Yeah. Yeah. Mighty. mighty. And the devil is under my feet. That's right. right. Yeah. You stomped on him. And there's so That's many right. people that uh, give up when they tell you, you have 1%. Oh, I got six hours to live or a week to live. No. Don't. And they no. accept no. it. Because the devil yeah. wants oh. you to give up and not stand. Yes. This is That's what right. we're talking about yes. right now, standing. Yes. I don't care who says what, who's a reporter you're going to believe. It doesn't God. matter. Right. Oh, my goodness. We got to go. Listen, it was a good show. Show and uh, everything that everybody had to say, take it and, and just allow God to minister to you today. Mm -hmm. But the biggest reason why we're here today is that you know Jesus. You know, uh, everything mm -hmm. that uh, we uh, live for, you know, we move and live and have our being in him. Mm -hmm. uh, ever since I got saved, it's just been an amazing journey with God. And you know, I had to come just as I am, and you have to come mm -hmm. just as you are. Okay. Because the devil wants to lie to you over and over and over. And I, I feel this so strong right now mm -hmm. that many of you, because I've talked to so many people about getting salvation, and and they say, oh, God wouldn't want me. Mm -hmm. And I've oh, done this and I've done dirty. that. And yeah, mm -hmm. and, they, and they say this right to me. And, mm -hmm. and they've yep. gotten born again. And the thing Praise is, God. is because God came while we were yet mm -hmm. sinners. We That's were right. all a mess, okay? He didn't come when we're perfect. Right. I mean, my God, it says when the uh, imperfect leaves, the perfect comes. The perfect comes and the mm -hmm. imperfect leaves, which will be us till glory day. That's right. And he is coming without spot and wrinkle and all mm -hmm. that stuff for his bride. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean we're perfection at that time. Mm -hmm. Right. Because then that would contradict the other spirit, the, right. the other scripture. But anyways, just say, Jesus, come into my heart. Mm -hmm. Be the Lord of my life. Forgive me of my yes. sins. Just forgive me. You know, you may feel dirty, unworthy. Mm -hmm. You may just kill somebody. You may be prostitute. I don't know what you're doing, but he loves you and he wants you just as you are right mm -hmm. now. Yes. And if you said that prayer, then ask him, Jesus himself, to baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire so you get your heavenly prayer language and that you have the power to walk out what just happened in your life. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, you'll never be the same. It's a never wonderful no, journey. Right. You don't have to, you don't have to listen to anybody. You you got to do this. You got to do that. You got to clean up. Or Jesus don't want you. He wants you the way you are. That's you and Him right. work out the details. Okay. Mm -hmm. We got to go. Please go to our website today, uh, God's View TV shows. Get an anointing oil or something. Help us keep coming into your home and around the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. God does have a view. God does have a view personally for you. Mm -hmm.